So we were just sitting there wondering, how do I get these files from my phone to my computer and vice versa? You could use a USB drive or a USB cable and plug it directly into your computer, or you could use some sketchy third-party website to temporarily upload the file to, but that's all pretty inconvenient. Or what if you want to transfer something between an iPhone and an Android phone or two Android devices? What do you do then? If you have an iPhone and the other person has an iPhone, you can use something like AirDrop to transfer the files, but if you want to transfer files to a computer, you need to make sure it's a Mac, otherwise AirDrop doesn't work, so that's pretty inconvenient. And you know what? Sometimes there's just some files you don't want to put in the cloud to transfer. That's where Local Send comes in. It's an open source, cross-platform, local network transfer app. No internet connection required except to download the app. So for the demo, I'm going to be using my desktop computer along with my Android device running Graphene OS. So the first step on the desktop computer, you can go to localsend.org, click download, Download whatever install you need for whatever platform you're currently on. I'm on Mac OS, so I downloaded the DMG. Once you install it, you can open the app. This is what the interface looks like. Super clean interface. I'm a big fan of nice interfaces. Then on the other device, which is my Android phone, to get the app, same thing, localsend.org. For Android, you can get it from Google Play, F-Droid. You can download the APK directly. Use whatever method you use to install apps iOS, it's on the App Store, Linux, Windows, pretty much all platforms are available on here. So once you get it installed on the other device, I'm going to open Local Send here. This is the first default screen that you see. It just has the friendly random generated name that the device is given by the app. In this case, my phone is Patient Coconut and my desktop is Fantastic Tomato. So that's fun. And now for transferring files, on my Android device, I'm going to be receiving. So I'm on the receive tab. From the desktop, I'm going to be sending files. So I go to send. We see patient coconut. It matches the other device, patient coconut. I have some test files here. First one we're gonna transfer is this image, which in the shell, that's my new podcast I recently launched. If you wanna check that out, head on over to intheshellpodcast.com. And it's as easy as dragging the file. So dragging the file, dropped it. We can see the current selection. It shows a preview. We have the one image, one file, size 2.5 megabytes. Select the device you want to transfer it to. The device that's receiving the file, we can see here, it's coming from Fantastic Tomato. Wants to send me a file. Mac OS has the OS that's running. You can either decline or accept it. I'm going to accept it. And boom, the file is transferred. If we go and check now in gallery, we can see, there it is. There are some other neat features about this app. You can easily send folders. If you ever use something like Signal to send files to yourself using the note to self option, you really can't send folders unless you zip them up and things like that, you know, just extra steps. With this, it's as easy as dragging it. I drag the test folder, has four images inside it. Again, click the device, accept it, transfer done. And now if we go into files, browse to download. Here's the test folder, and there are the four images inside it. There's also a convenient option to send text to yourself. You know, I've had times in the past where I need to send some URL to my phone that I, I'm just setting up, or it's a brand new device I'm experimenting with. And instead of typing it out or trying to email it to myself, with local send, you can just copy whatever you need, go to the text option, paste it, Confirm, select the device you want it to go to. And we can see here, Fantastic Tomato sent you a link. You can either copy it or open it, and as easy as that. Another feature on the Android app for Local Send is there's an app option. So any apps that you have installed that are separate from the system apps installed by default, you can select those and it actually sends the APK. So if you have another Android device not connected to the internet, you want to get APKs to it, this is another easy way just to send those over. And one other feature that I missed from back in the day when I used an iPhone was if I had a bunch of photos I wanted to send someone, you could easily go to the Photos app, select them, and use AirDrop. With Local Send, it's pretty similar. Go to Local Send, those photos are selected. You select the device and you send them over. So it has very nice system integration that is pretty convenient to use. One caveat to Local Send is that both devices must be on the same Wi Fi network. If they aren't, they can't find each other and you can't send files. 
So that is one downside to it. One workaround that I found is that say you want to transfer files to someone, but there's no Wi-Fi network around, you can create a hotspot on your device. Even if you don't have internet access or cellular access, you create the hotspot, you give the other person, you know, temporary credentials to connect to it. You let them connect to your phone. You both launch local send. And at that point you can then start transferring files. So not as convenient as airdrop, which uses Bluetooth low energy, I think, along with creating a local Wi-Fi network, but it does work. Just takes a few extra steps. If you're curious how local send works in detail, I will link down below the documents that describe how the local send protocol works. But in short, how it works, the device receiving the file sets up a web server. The sender, which is the device sending the file, sends the files to the web server, which means that the device that set up the web server now received those files from the sender and boom, the file is transferred. It does use HTTPS, so the files are encrypted in transit. And it is really just an elegant and simple solution how it works. There's so many variables when it comes to communicating between operating systems, platforms, different devices, and this just works. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below, and I will see you next time.